Hello everyone and welcome back to another quick video. In this video I'm going to be going over the new gemstones and what is now called mythic essence and talking about the fastest way to get them. Uh, I'll be giving a few tips and tricks on what I have been doing since the new release and what you can do to get more uh, and get it as fast as possible really. Uh, but before we get into that I have recently uploaded some videos on my channel on how to level up quickly in Season 12 of League of Legends and another one on how to get Blue Essence as fast as possible. So if you would be interested in watching them and seeing my tips and tricks on that, then they are on my channel below. Also, if you enjoy this type of content, then please click the like button on the video and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this from me. Anyway. Getting into the video, I have found two incredibly useful ways to get Blue Essence as quickly, no, why say Blue Essence, Mythic Essence, sorry, as quick as possible. The first way is with tokens. Now, recently an MSI 2022 High Noon token has come out. In fact, I think it came out today. Uh, and as you can see, if you get 2,200, which I know is a lot, but if you basically don't have any other need for the rest of them, you don't, you're not rushing for skins and you don't, you have all the champions, uh, then I would definitely recommend going for the myth Mythic Essence. Um, that's the first way of doing it. Once again, very useful if you don't use them, uh, very good way to get it. But the second way is a whole lot better and I'll be showing you in this video the way that I found to get Mythic Essence really quickly is through Masterwork Chests and any other, what's the word, progressible rewards. So as you can see, every time you open a Masterwork Chest, uh, there is random skin shards and Mythic Essence, and that's after opening five. And then once you're at 10, you get another five, 15, another five, 20, another five, 25, you get 10 and then it repeats. And then every single time you do that, you keep repeating. Now, some people would be saying to me in the comment section that it's gonna be difficult to get these masterwork chests because they are only available through purchasing or through orbs, uh, the, the orbs that you get from tokens, uh, whereas, it's not actually that difficult to get it. If you have a Twitch Prime account, uh, not yes, uh, sorry, an Amazon Prime account, and you link it to your Twitch and get Twitch Prime, and then link your Twitch Prime to your League of Legends account, then you can get something called a Prime Gaming. So if you click on the Redeem, as you can see, it says claim 650 RP, a 1350 RP skin, and each, uh, sorry, what's that say? more each month with Prime. So if you go onto this, then every single month, you can pick up one of these. Oh, I've got a new emote, but as you can see, once you're on this, uh, you'll be able to pick up all these. Uh, it's not actually shown at the moment. There it is. And it shows Prime Gaming Capsules. Uh, let me just click that and claim that now. Anyway, uh, and you'll be able to get Prime Gaming Capsules. Once you get that, you can get 650 RP, and then with that, you can open Masterwork Chest. So what I'm gonna do on this video, I don't think I have enough RP to get all the way there, uh, but what I will do is I will open some Masterwork Chests on the video, uh, and oh, I can't get another one, and you will see how this works. So as you can see, I've got three Masterwork Chests. If I open three of them, and then the progress goes up, it's taken a while to load. There you go. Deep Sea Nami. I oh, have the Dragon Ward. Okay, that was completely useless. But either way, it is now progressed over. And once I get to five, I'll get Mythic Essence and a random skin shards. And each time I do that with my myth, uh, with my RP that I've gotten from Twitch Prime. I'm oh, no, sorry, not Twitch Prime. Amazon Prime. Then I will be able to progress more and get more Mythic Essence every single time. Like I said, doing this mixed with the MSI tokens or, or any other tokens that are out at the time. Working towards that, very, very good way of getting Mythic Essence. And as you can see, I've gotten 50 and it has been quite easy, to be honest. Uh, another way of getting it is forget the MSI High Noon tokens that you can get from regular missions. If you go and buy 
Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be here. Uh, the MSI Noon Pass. Then you get different missions down the bottom. As you can see, it's taken a while to load. Uh, and each one of them you'll get Mythic Essence on as well. So I've got Mythic Essence as you saw before. Uh, you, that, that one so far is the only one you can get. And 700 points from time spent playing and winning games. You get five Mythic Essence. And then you get about, uh, what's it, How many, however many missions. And you can then use that to unlock whatever you'd like as well. So those are the three ways that I've found. So to recap, get the MSI High Noon um, Pass. And then once you've got the pass, you can get Mythic Essence. And then after doing that, you can, with all the tokens you've gotten left over from getting the Mythic Essence, you can then use to buy more Mythic Essence. And then after that, all of the free RP that you'll get from, sorry, this is taking forever to load, from the Prime Gaming Capsules, you will then be able to buy uh, what they call Masterwork Chests and work towards even more Mythic Essence. And once you do that, I'd say for a month or so, you'll be able to get any of these uh, prestige skins or you can get random skin shards every single time, which I think is a really cool idea. You, with only 10 of them, you can get, where you can get a free skin shard. So once you have all the champions, once you've worked towards everything else in the game and you want to start getting skins, it's a very, very easy way. And then once again, you'll also be able to earn skin shards from the Masterwork chest. So I think it works out pretty well. Anyway, guys, that will be the end of the video. I know it wasn't a quick one, but I just thought that this was a really nice and simple video to address on my channel. If you guys did enjoy it, like I said before, please like the video. It really helps me out. It projects my videos on to a larger audience. And not only that, but it also shows, shows to me what sort of videos that you like to see. And if you did, if you do like these sort of videos, please hit the subscribe button. It lets me know what sort of videos you like and what content you like to see. Anyway, guys, that will be me. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.